Today, we're going on a little adventure. We've all just been saying to each other how much we really needed this. It's time to get back to building. For building a tiny home to travel the world. We're Nat and Abby. This is Bear and Peluche. And this is our van, Tawanda. After two years of traveling coast to coast of North America, we're making some changes to our off-grid tiny home. Join us every week as we make a little progress and a lot of mishaps. We're still making some of the same mistakes. This is what you should be seeing when you're watching a van build. <laughs> this is how it really goes. At Again. least for us. Today, we're going on a little adventure. Hi! Come on in, guys! So we're super excited today to hang out with our friend Alyssa, also known as Regretless on Instagram. This is Lucky Bus, and this is my dog, Rio. And I'm so excited to explore with you guys. Yeah, I can't wait. It's my first time in South Carolina. We are only 30 minutes away from a national park, so you guys know we have to take advantage of that. We're gonna show Alyssa around, and also, she's agreed to participate in my photography project, Empowerment Via the Lens, so we're gonna start our adventure day with a little photo shoot. Woohoo! We're thinking about this setting for our first photo. This tree arching over this bog is kind of cool. Let's do it. That's gorgeous right there, even with your hand right there. Beautiful. Oh yeah, I love that. Wow. I think we've got all the shots we need in this location. We're gonna do what I like to call shoot and wander. We take a little walk and we stop at places that inspire us along the way. Found our next spot. These wispies are gonna make an awesome foreground for our shots. So while I'm on the lookout to make sure nobody's bothering them during the photo shoot, I wanna get on a soapbox real quick. It's Abby's favorite thing. Hopefully you enjoy it too. I just wanted to say how amazing this community is and like living this kind of lifestyle and meeting so many people through social media that you really connect with is super cool, but it's even better when you get to finally meet the person. It feels really cool to connect with people, especially during this build and not traveling right now. It's so important for our well-being and just to keep us motivated to get get back on the road. So and Oh yeah, plus her dog is super cool. Boy, yeah. Rio is on a soapbox. Rio's doing the job for Abby. They stop it. <laughs> Feeling good and red. The last location, our last couple shots, we're gonna make the most of it. Yay! We did, we it! did it! That is a wrap on our photo shoot, guys. You know I'm gonna have to drop in some photos, okay? That was just the absolute best. I was just telling Abby, like, I've never felt not self-conscious, if that makes sense. This was the first photo shoot where I just felt totally empowered. It just feels so natural. It's just so much fun. Yay. I'm so grateful that I get to be a part of this project. <laughs> Who doesn't love frolicking in the forest naked? Come on. Thank cool. you so much. And you're awesome. This was awesome. Yes, I'm feeling like super inspired myself and like just ready to, to create more. That's co what collaboration is all about. It is. is your energy, combining energies and making magic. So, mm -hmm. and we definitely did some of that. Yeah. Hungary National Park. It's beautiful. The boardwalk is awesome. So much ASMR here. <laughs> Stop and listen.
Oh my god. <laughs> what are you doing? Meditating. You know, inhaling. Oh, you guys. We had an amazing photo shoot. We saw a lot of critters. We listened to the wind in the trees. We've all just been saying to each other how much we really needed this. Yeah, absolutely. I forget to take breaks from the build. I really do. You guys know that by now. So <laughs> this has been absolutely important. <laughs> I'm happy to be the excuse. Yes. Now we're going to get some inspiration with her build, a little tiny tour so that we can keep going and get refreshed with what we're doing. So That's right. Welcome to the Lucky Bus. Let's show them around. Come on in. So this is Lucky. This is my living room. I have lots of storage every which way. You have no idea how much storage I have. Every nook and cranny flips up and there's just extra storage. <laughs> Literally it. everything. Awesome. They're the cup holders because... It's a moving vehicle, so helpful. Uh, this is my kitchen. I have a massive fridge. It's a fridge and a freezer. So it's way more than enough, 5.5 cubic feet. Toaster oven, microwave. All this runs off of my solar system, which is great because I love to be off grid as much as possible. And then my sink, I went with an undermount sink, which is so nice when you want to hide dirty dishes. And I know how many dirty dishes this one me. <laughs> <laughs> I've witnessed it firsthand. Um, and this is my bathroom. So it's a wet bath, just like you would have on a ship or something. So it's just all one big shower pan. And yeah, you can have it all. Full bathroom in a short bus. It's pretty pretty crazy. It's just shy of a hundred square feet in here to give you perspective on size. And then Closet, I'll open it up for you guys. You can hop on in here. Wow, you have like a full closet. Yeah. Guys, look at this. This is yeah. what's possible. It's possible. Oh it's possible. And if my when my hamper's not there, I claim I have a walk-in closet because technically I can walk <laughs> in it and then close the doors. So this part I'm pretty proud of because usually it's just a bed, but I had these built-ins here, which is awesome. And then this it's just like my little nightstand. So I have like the book that I'm reading, my little salt lamp, tissues, anything there, which is great. And then this, this is my favorite part of the bus right here. I got this bus specifically for the emergency exit, the handicap door. Oh, that's so, so that cool. whenever I'm like in a national park oh. or somewhere beautiful, I can lay in bed, have a cup Dang. of tea or a glass of wine. Let's see. Kick, kick your feet back, girl. Yeah, let's see yeah. it. Let's this see is it. Life here, right? This is oh. what bus life's about. It's the outdoors and then to experience it from bed. I mean, come on, does it get any better? <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. Thank you so much for the tiny tour of, of your home. Of course. You have re-inspired me to get back to the build because <laughs> I needed the break. It's really yes. been, it's a lot. It's time to get back to building. Yeah, we gotta get back there. So we can get on the road and carry on. Yeah. All right, yeah. see you later. <laughs> It looks pretty damn good. All right, so this is phase one of the dry fit and it looks pretty damn good. I'm very, very happy with it. I have to make a few adjustments, so we're gonna take it out and stain it and finish it up, but look at it. I'm um, so much closer to a pizza. <laughs> okay, so I forgot my pocket holes on this piece completely. So there's a solution, but it's gonna be a little ridiculous, but you know, that's how we do things. Oh. Can't get in there. Oh. Does it not fit? Oh, hold on. No. Oh no! no. <laughs> no. 
I think we learned our lesson about forgetting to put our pocket holes in the back of the cabinet. It's fine. It looks beautiful. Okay? It's, it's done, so it's totally fine. Call me on the road. I'll make you a cabinet. <laughs> I'm going to be staining this baby. She's going to look beautiful. And we will pick it up tomorrow and show you guys what we got. Bye. This is so cool. Ugh, I'm refreshed. I'm going to get started on the van so that we can do the things that we love to do again. Back to work. Our cabinet is looking really beautiful with the new stain. Our goal today is to make some drawers that are going to go one deep drawer in here for pots and pans, then another drawer in here for utensils. So that's what we're working on today. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't want to waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun This is when I know that I'm getting better at what I'm doing. So practice makes perfect. I did this whole box in maybe two hours. That's pretty cool, huh? How, the hell does that make you feel? It feels awesome. Yeah, we're excited to get on the road, man. Alyssa like re-energized re us. Cause she's definitely making a lot of progress, like a lot faster. That's really awesome to see. She's, she's done a lot, but guess what? We're still making some of the same mistakes. She forgot to put the pocket holes in her drawer. That's okay, Beanie. That's what we're doing behind the scenes. Somehow, we're always doing everything twice. This is what you should be seeing when you're watching a van build. <laughs> this is how it really goes. <laughs> At Again, least for us. <laughs> all the how not to use on van build. I found this scrap piece amongst all the beauties and this one is really cool because the pattern is just like centralized. It's very pretty. I'm going to use this for the utensil drawer. I'm on drawer number two. This is the utensil drawer, and I've got to make my favorite thing pocket holes. I've been calling them Craig holes, I think, for the last couple weeks, and Wendy's like, been laughing at us. So they're pocket holes. But, anyways, box number one IKEA situation number two. All right, let's put it together. Guess I'm a freaking expert now. <laughs> Check this out. Did that? Did that all one day? Days like this when we make so much progress just feels so good because it means we're one step closer to being back on the road. And that is just what we've been craving lately. You know, we're really missing that adventure and that just, oh, know, the road just calls us. You know, once, you, once you're a nomad and you hit the road, it's, um, it's hard to go back. We're building a tiny home to travel the world. Me and my wife traveling the world in our dream home that we built with our own two hands. Beanie! Hey babe, yeah. we got a package. <gasps> what you is wanna, it? You want to open it? Yes. 
all from Adric. Such a big fan and follower and supporter, and we, we appreciate you very much. And he wanted to send us something. <laughs> cool. What? Dude, look at this pin. Okay, let's start with the pin. <laughs> look at that dope pin. I'm using that to write for poetry, I'll tell you that much. Oh my god, I don't really need a new ink for this. I'm gonna rock the hell out of this. I think I need a new knife to go with it and a cutting board and some towels. Uh-oh, you guys, she's putting together a wish list. <laughs> Kitchen essentials. Wow. Seriously, thank you so much, Adric. That was really, really thoughtful of you. We very much appreciate the people that just follow us every week and just, you know, we get some we can give some inspiration to a few people. That literally means everything to us it really does because we enjoy our lives so much and being able to share it with all of you and have you appreciate it too is just cool i mean that's that's what the world should be about that apron is gonna look so good in your next video <laughs> your next cooking episode yes it is speaking of which y'all we just released a new cooking episode hey there welcome back to the show i'm chef nat and i've got plantains in front of me and i got my poop shoes on and i'm ready to make you a delicious meal so stay tuned and stick around What? What? And <laughs> Natalie threw down some gnocchi in a way that I'm sure you've never had. Or really, it's... Hair. Did you just find a gray hair? Abby, no! Oh. Look at that thing is white! Look at it. That's a gray hair, baby. <laughs> I'm okay with it. You got two gray hairs? I'm okay with it! It means they're hairs of wisdom. She's gonna have the prettiest white it means hair I'm wise. she's... You know, it means I'm wise. A little older. I'll take it. <laughs> anyway, she's just talking me up. If you'd like to see the food video, because I made some pretty dope gnocchi, you should yeah. check it out. On Patreon. Link. Yeah. Link. Yeah. It's, it's up there. Over there. And it's down there. Check it out. Right, we're rambling. <laughs> it's only day two. I've built out almost the whole cabinet. So this is very, very different from the sink side, because that took us God only knows how long. Making some trim for the door or the drawers today. I'm hoping to get the propane box started and or the bench framing done for the benches. So depending on where my mind wanders. But chugging right along, it's supposed to rain today, but it looks like it's gonna hold off. And I'm excited to get this cabinet done. <laughs> So we decided to make a frame for our oven shelf. This will provide proper ventilation underneath the oven and also raises the oven up to the perfect height so that our countertop will fit flush, so. I'm gonna start on my propane box, trying to account for all the safety measures I can take. So we're gonna build a box that is sealed. It has closed locked latches that the propane will fit really snug in a bug and a rug into. And then that box will slide into the cabinet. So it's going to have almost, you know, a double wall protection. So. Sound of a beep beep. <laughs> We're actually really thankful for the rain because we needed to wash the pollen off the van. Thanks, Mother Nature. Propane box is almost done. Having propane on board this time is definitely making us a little nervous, so we're taking every safety measure i'm going to be sealing every corner every crevice with some silicone so this box is nice and tightly sealed we also have this automatic fire extinguisher it's called a fireball and it automatically goes off when a fire occurs and then we plan on getting a propane gas alarm 
So with all of these safety measures combined, it helps put our minds at ease. We're doing everything we can to stay safe. The rain did not get all the pollen off. Oh, look at this, I gotta wipe it with my hands. Get it off the texture there, but we gotta take care of the food. mint green propane box in the works. It only took me two and a half months of almost three months of building before I got myself a freaking tool belt y'all okay. Abby wouldn't get me one you know what I said screw that. I found one that was half the price because it was smaller compromised and now I can keep all my crap in one area and I look legit. So I'm really excited about it. I don't ever buy anything for myself. And Abby's in the back of the camera like, bitch, I bought that. <laughs> True story. We're married. It's a joint account. Okay. So I literally just went and bought a freaking tool belt today. I decided that I finally deserved one and I got one at Lowe's. And then I came back to work in the van and Alyssa had sent me this in the mail. I got this an hour afterwards, which I thought was just, I don't know, it was pretty freaking amazing. I think the universe was just like, hey, here's some kindness. You're really freaking sweet to have done that. I appreciate it. It's just funny that I literally last minute in the store was like, I'm gonna buy a tool belt because I deserve one. I've been here three months working and I've been like losing crap every day. So I got everything I need now. And this thing is cool as crap. I'm getting rid of that ugly one that I bought. Thank you so much. You're the sweetest thing ever. We can't wait to see you on the road. So today I'm focusing on our electronics drawer. I'm really excited to show you this. I want Abby to be able to store all the electronics in one space before everything was cluttered all over with the gimbal. It would just get thrown around the van and this time we're going to have a drawer we can open that has all of our batteries, all of our cameras, everything in one space. This oven cabinet is not finished. Nope, Natalie's just getting really antsy and is moving on to other projects. So why did you stop working on the oven cabinet and completely switch gears? The bench bone connected to the cabinet bone. Huh? I'm just trying to figure out a lot of things at once. I have to have multi-function mode on at all times, okay? Go, go, gadget. Build the van. I'm just giving her a hard time. We've made a lot of progress. It's totally okay that the oven cabinet is on pause. There's so much to do. Sometimes you just can't do it in order. You gotta bounce from project to project because it keeps your mind fresh. I got a tool belt. Look at it. <laughs> really guys, I'm not in a place to say anything because if it weren't for Nat, we wouldn't even have this mostly built home. I love you baby, thank you from the bottom of my heart for working so hard for both of us. And I love our home. Here she is. Ta-da! Nice, babe. Dang, look at that, woo. So this is gonna be Abby's, well ours, but it's really Abby's electronics box cabinet so it's going to slide out because i'm all into the slides so we'll have our bench here and it will still lift up and we'll have a little shallow storage but this will pull out boom she's gonna have her gimbal and her nice dslr and all the other components that we use on the road to film for you sweet people so there it is you can finally in the video <laughs> Once again, I did not get the kitchen done, but look at all that I have accomplished. I've got the bench framing. I've got the lower cabinet. I banged this out in like two days. Um, Alyssa was a huge motivation for me for that. And we got a propane box. We're coming right along. Um, we had an amazing past couple days. We got to hang out with a really cool friend that we knew online. We finally got to meet in person. Alyssa, you were a freaking bundle of joy to have. We are so very thankful that you came this way and hung out with us as long as you did. Yeah. We can't wait to catch you again on the road. 
If you want to check out her travels, she is regretless on Instagram and on YouTube. Yes. And very inspiring account. I'm very proud of what we've gotten done. We are so, so close to the finish line. We are. We're getting so close. It's just, it's like within reach. And that's making us feel really, really excited. It is. It really is. We can't wait to get back on the road and travel. I need to cook on a fire. I need to see big nature. You need so, to cook in this new kitchen. I do need to cook in this new kitchen. That's it for this week. We hope you enjoyed it. And we will catch you next, next Sunday. Sunday. Bye. Why not Rio? You gotta zoom in Do on that. Do you see her? She's being all dramatic with the pop. She's so head. dramatic. I don't want to leave. You cue no. Sarah McLaughlin. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> it's just happening. <laughs> <laughs> is she straight? Do we want her to be straight? She can be whatever she wants to be. She can be what she wants, but I think but she's the drawer not needs straight. to be straight. <laughs> Shit, it's not plugged in. Oh. <laughs> She's trying to catch the pencil in her pouch. Come on, you got this. Try it again. Play the swag music. That's not even. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, just pause it there. Yeah.